Yes, it is described in many traditions. The, there are two aspects. One, the location carries the resonance of that. If a person stayed there for a very long time, it carries a particular resonance. And then if you go for a house of a saint, even if the saint lived a long time ago, and he had a very strong presence and still has a strong presence somewhere in the subtle world, in the astral world, then the room serves as a kind of portal in which that presence is very charged and especially if there are pictures and if people treat it as such, it becomes like, you know, pilgrims, they go to Assisi or they go to the caves where Milarepa meditated or they go to Bodh Gaya, to the Bodhi tree or they go to Jerusalem where Jesus uh, is resurrected from the dead and so forth and the place serves as a portal so that the astral being of that soul can, and even higher than that, can um, manifest and indeed um, also from my personal experiences such places can be extremely, extremely charged and you can enter com communication, telepathic communication or heart communication with that elevated being. This is one side and yes it would work to a degree for ordinary human beings uh, it will only leave some presence which will probably disappear very much in time and then they go and they go in the astral world and they incarnate and this identity is mostly forgotten and so forth and after some time they won't be you paint the house and other people live in it and other energies are charged and so forth. It's not a problem. Yeah. But uh, there are some uh, spirits that get uh, stuck somehow in the process of leaving this world. They are what's described in the Tibetan tradition but also in India and also in the West as hungry ghosts that being very, very attached to the physical world, when they die, it's like they can't go further. And they are still so obsessed with something here that they stay in between. And then, yes, they can, maybe the thing that they stay is there in the room, in their imagination. And then, yes, it can be that such a presence and it would probably not be a positive presence because it didn't stay here for good reasons it stayed for whatever negative emotion selfish motivation be it anger be it lust be it something and then indeed if it says it's haunted and so forth don't go there there are other <laughs> other places to go especially if you are not very strong if you are very strong and you want to go and help you can help that soul to be free, but you need to be attentive what you get entangled with. And it's a good lesson. I mean, if you are obsessed about something in this world, let it go for crying out loud. Let it go. You don't want to be stuck here after dying. Let it go. If you didn't uh, realize yet, you will die one day. And whatever happens in this world, whatever gain here doesn't matter. In front of death, nothing. Only your inner attitude, the amount of love and so forth. Only that matters. So it's a very good time now, today, to detach from this world and to focus on divine love, on devotion, on service, on things that have meaning, to purify, so that when the moment comes, and it will for sure come, we can leave this world in peace and not become now, we will haunt some house somewhere. Yeah, so it's a very good lesson, these uh, hungry ghosts. And you can read, even if you want very simple reading already in this uh, Sugyal Rinpoche, uh, the Tibetan book of the dead and the living. If you want more complicated, you can read the Tibetan book of the dead. Even Ramakrishna in his book speaks about them. And there's quite a, few, quite a lot of literature about, um, about that. Not, not as such, it's, um, 
it stays connected. It's not so much, um, they still go, also ghosts. Uh, I'm sure you noticed you can't see them. They are no longer physical, but they stay connected. So this room now, where we are, and your room at home, has um, an astral double. Yeah? So the first astral plane is an exact copy of the physical plane. And there is a certain communication between energies over there and energies over here. So it stays, it's no longer in the physical plane, but it stays in a, just to put it simple, in a parallel universe, this is the simple version, but connected to that location, sometimes trapped in that location, sometimes possessive about that location. Um, you can think about it like a router or like an antenna. When you go closer to the router, you get a better signal. So the room is like a router is it, of that particular entity, good or bad. If it's a saint or if it's a malefic spirit, depending on the entity and depending on the space. But it's like it's more condensed the closer you are to the router. Yeah, it's, it, that spirit is connected to that room more as a vibration if you may. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on spirituality, Tantra and more. And if you want to sign up for our online classes or for our retreats, you can see our website on the description below.